Это Баба Яга. Such is life. Such is life. So John Wick must see. Period. And as far as the action, they took it up a notch. They took up all the action scenes. They took up as far as even the actors that they had in it. Uh, just even having Donnie Yen for most of the movie, no spoilers, is like superb. It's a masterful treat. And I would even say that they classify it, quote unquote, as neo-noir. But really, I think... John Wick at this point is like dark fantasy because especially when you look at four the stuff that's happening really doesn't necessarily happen in reality but just the way that they do it it has this magical quality so they're just sort of like taking gun food to a kind of crouching tiger hidden dragon level that's like masterful and really like I felt at times that you know I was waiting for the fairy dust just kidding so, so what are the things that really work in the movie so the things that really work in the movie is that all the action is choreographed sort of like a ballet it's masterful and every single scene in which john wick the character who's basically coming like an avenging angel coming to claim revenge and that's saying that revenge is a dish both served cold in this instance i guess it's also served hot so are there parts that are on the slower side i think when you look at the movie in its totality that maybe at times during the first half an hour you might have times where for example if you were at home you might be like well i can fast forward through that but that's kind of dangerous there are some points just in terms of writing where the dialogue you're like well where's this going or you might be like i'm wondering why they put that in the script the thing is though basically with this series what doesn't come up or what is a missing in the john wick character or what is a missing in keanu reeves as far as maybe his quote-unquote delivery at certain points it doesn't really matter because the supporting cast including especially a lot of the villains, their acting is masterful. So it's sort of like the way they crafted the movie and the way they crafted the writing is that wherever John Wick is kind of like, well, I don't believe that, or why did he say that, or that was a weak line, you have the addition of all these superb actors, like everyone who's supporting Keanu Reeves is superb. The villain's acting is superb. All of the quote-unquote minor characters are superb. The Donnie Yen character, Kane, is superb. So if there are any missings, it doesn't really matter because the supporting cast catches the slack. And on a very important note, the Sharon character, and of course Sharon goes back to mythology and Sharon being the persona that takes people across the river Styx. It was a very classy touch and a send off for Lance Reddick who unfortunately passed away and how they handle that was very, very classy. Um, so that maybe is a little bit of a spoiler, but being that Lance Reddick actually passed, I don't really think that this is an important spoiler because I think it was really, really classy on the part of the cast and they just melded or rather put it in the movie in such a classy, beautiful way. So what this really is, is this is magical realism. And I say magical realism because there's really no way that one man in reality could actually survive all these different encounters in the manner in which that he finds himself but at the same time the realistic nature of it is because he doesn't go unscathed 
It's not like, for example, he's a superhero that never gets shot. If anything, he's sort of like the Punisher in that he gets hurt, he gets shot, he has time where he's not, well, he's out of commission. But the magical quality is that he's able to come back again and again. So it's sort of like if you took Rambo times Die Hard and then added a fantasy dark twist and then brought in Greek and then also Christian mythology into the mix. Not that I, as a side note, believe that Christian ideals are mythology, but that's another video that I'm not doing right now. And this is just a beautiful scene that I'm showing right here. Excellent scene.